Thank you for using GL Sciences products. In this video, we will introduce our recommended HPLC column washing method. We will pay attention to the washing method for the normal phase column such as our bare silica column. When do you need to wash the columns? We will introduce four cases, after which washing your column is advised. The first case, is when the pressure is more than 5% higher than previous analysis. When the pressure is high, it might be that the column is clogged. It is important to record the pressure of your new column under your analysis conditions. That way you can monitor pressure rises. The second case, is when the peak shape deteriorates. Examples are split peaks, tailing peaks and fronting peaks. These symptoms can be caused by dirt being adsorbed on the column. This can change the retention. The target component can be adsorbed by the dirty part. The third case, is when the theoretical plate number has decreased by 10% or more. If the column becomes dirty, the noise signal may increase, or the peak shape may deteriorate. As a result, the theoretical plate number will gradually decrease. The last case is when you want to store your columns for more than 10 days. If the column has been used with an acidic, alkaline or salt condition for a long time, it may cause deterioration of the column. Make sure to wash the column before storing the column. We have discussed four scenarios after which you should wash your column. Now we will explain how to wash the normal phase mode column such as a bare silica column. The detergency of the solvent on the normal phase mode column is different. Of these, hexane is the weakest detergency, and water is the strongest detergency. A weak solvent is usually used as the mobile phase for a normal phase column, but washing may require a strong solvent. However, it is rare to flow water through a column used in normal phase mode. For the first washing method, we recommend choosing isopropanol or ethanol. These are easily mixed with most solvents such as hexane used in normal phase mode. If the washing is insufficient with the first choice solvent group, use methanol or water as the final choice solvent. However, these solvents are not mixed with most solvents such as hexane used in normal phase mode. Therefore, make sure to use the final solvent group after using the first solvent group. In normal phase mode, columns flushed with water or methanol may change retention. Usually it becomes irreversibly faster. It may stabilize with a faster retention time. I will explain the basic washing method. First of all, flow 100% of the first choice solvent through the column. Take care about high pressure when using isopropanol. The volume to use is more than 5 times the column volume. For example, a column with an inner diameter of 4.6 mm and a length of 150 mm has a column volume of 2.5 ml. The washing solution to be flushed must be 12.5 ml or more. When washing at a flow rate of 0.2 ml per minute, Running time must be at least 63 minutes. These solvents tend to increase the column pressures. So, I recommend to flow at a lower rate than usual. Washing time may be longer at low flow rates. If the pressure is still much lower against the operating tolerance pressure, after flowing the solvent more than 10 minutes, you can increase flow rate. If you can increase the flow rate, decrease the washing time. When increasing flow rate, pay attention to the column pressure. Increasing the amount of washing solvent will enhance the washing effect. The column volume can be calculated by the formula shown here. The column volume of typical sizes are shown, so please refer to this. The washing is completed when 100% of hexane is used in an amount of 5 times the column volume. After that, use the column under the usual analytical conditions and check whether the column has recovered or not. If the basic cleaning methods introduced so far do not improve, 
Try an advanced washing method using organic solvents of the final choice. This is the same process as the basic washing already introduced. First, wash with 100% of the first choice solvent and run 5 times the column volume. Take care about high pressure when using isopropanol. Then fill the column with 100% of the final choice and run 10 times the column volume. There are several notice when flushing with the final choice solvent. As explained before, the retention may become reversibly faster. While it may stabilize with a faster retention time, we recommend to use the final choice solvents only if you accept these situation. After that return to the 100% organic solvent of the first choice. Run this, again, with 5 times the column volume. The washing is completed when 100% of hexane is used in an amount of 5 times the column volume. Finally, use the column under the usual analytical conditions, and check whether the column has recovered or not. Thank you for listening. If there are any questions, please feel free to contact us again, or visit our website for support.